Hey everyone, it's Julie. Today we'll be making lemon bun cake. I really enjoyed this lemony cake and I thought it was delicious and I wanted to share it with you all. So let's get started. So because I didn't film this at home, I had to make this by hand. I filmed at my grandma's house. She doesn't own a stand mixer, but Christmas is coming. Although she'll never use it, only I will. That's pretty evil. All right, so I started with softened butter and you just want to whip that until it's smooth and creamy. I then added some granulated sugar and as you saw in the beginning it was a little bit hard my butter so I just took it to the microwave for like four or five seconds and then it softened up. So then like I said I added the sugar and then I zested two lemons so about a tablespoon of zest and I was zesting with my uh, non-dominant hands therefore I struggled a bit. So then you want to add your eggs. I like to do one or two at a time so it's easier to mix in and I, I'm pretty useless without a stand mixer to be honest with you. I've been so spoiled by my standing mixer but this is good. This is this is good for those who don't have a stand mixer. All right so I added some sour cream vanilla extract and now don't get discouraged I did add some instant lemon pudding this is going to moisten your cake it's going to add flavor and it's going to give it a nice lemony flavor so definitely add it you then want to add the flour baking soda and salt and I just threw it in there I didn't want to dirty an additional dish uh, Give it a good mix, but make sure not to over mix. And then we are going to pour the batter into our buttered bunt pan. Make sure your bunt pan is well buttered. You definitely don't want your cake to stick. Smooth everything out. And we are then going to place this in a preheated oven at 325 degrees for about one hour and five minutes. This will cook long and slow, but it'll be definitely worth it make sure to clean the sides you don't have to I like to and this is going in the oven once it comes out this is what it'll look like I'm just going to flip it over onto a serving platter just gonna hit it with a knife make sure to use a knife to go around the edges and loosen up the cake I didn't show that on camera but you definitely have to do that or else your cake won't come out while your cake is cooling let's make a glaze I just have some powdered sugar some lemon juice, some lemon zest, and a little bit of milk, which I'll be pouring in a little bit later. There I go. And I think my cousin poured that in for me. <laughs> and I gave everything a good whisk, and then I poured it over my cake. Make sure that your cake is cooled, or else it'll just be a see-through glaze. And I wanted to uh, cover that little piece that was bothering me on the right hand side right there so I made some more make sure not to over mix your cake or over bake it or else your cake can definitely come out dry I found this to be very flavorful and moist it was delicious I hope you guys give it a try and I want to thank you all so much for watching